Hello, and welcome to episode 31 of Moms with Yarn. I'm Sharon, known as Bronx Knitter One on Ravelry and Bronx Knitter on Instagram. And I'm Tracy, TV McCarthy on Ravelry and TV McCarthy 5 on Instagram. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for showing up for all your our loyal viewers and new viewers. Thanks for giving us a look-see. Hopefully you like what we have to show you. Yeah. I hope you'll keep on coming back. Keep yeah. on coming back. Subscribe. Yeah. And you can so, follow us on Instagram, but the person who sent me an Instagram message about losing belly fat, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> It was by accident, I'm sure. <laughs> sure I don't there. appreciate that. <laughs> I don't even have a message on Instagram. Someone no. told me that I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it either. Yeah, it's, I'm a techno. It's above my pay grade. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm, a, I'm a techno. No. <laughs> no. Techno, no. I'm a tech not. <laughs> I would love oh. to be able to do some of those fancy things. You know, I got a message in my inbox and Instagram, and I'm like, how did she do that? I know. I've never gotten one. I don't know how to send one. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would even know how to check it. I don't know. Well, whatever. Just, yeah. And, and, and at the, to the person that sent me a message, Blue Yarn Always, Sheila, I love what you're doing with your yarn girl. You must never sleep. Never. <laughs> She spins every day. She has a new yarn on the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, uh, uh, okay, congratulations. Make sure and she works from she works from nine to nine, Sharon. You better get on it. Ugh, I can't I, because you know something. Just like wheelchair lady, I don't even know what to say to my for myself. I feel sorry. It's pathetic, <laughs> and it gets more pathetic as the evening goes on. So you have to stay tuned. <laughs> So we're going to go into our finished objects, of which I have zero again. Okay. I just, I had a few whips last week that I finished. So last week I told you that I finished my right. uh, Urantini socks. I'm just showing them really quickly. Yeah, because you couldn't find them. Because I couldn't. And, and they actually, like, can you see at the top? They're all matchy matchy and everything. Yeah, and they're totally not meant to ma be matchy matchy, but they did. So, so happy accident. What it is, what it is. Um, and I finished my rainbow striped socks. You're gonna call them Eeyore's rainbow? <laughs> they should be. They're so depressing. They really are. If this is a rainbow, seriously, there's probably a mud puddle at the end <laughs> that are like gold. <laughs> It's probably the empty bucket that you need to wash out. I don't know. It's so bad. Oh. These are not matchy matchy, as you can see. Yeah. Not matchy matchy. But I think they'll be nice for winter. They're they're out of the Patton Croy um, stripe self striping, and it's the like I said, the rainbow stripes colorway. Mm -hmm. um, they're just so rustic. These remind me of those Regias that I knit up. That the Regia socks that we won. Yes. Um, I just I really like knitting these. The tough socks in between the really nice feeling ones. Okay, Are it's just that, like a nice change. Is that six ply? Is that sport weight? No, it's. A, I mean, it might be actually because it is a little bit thicker. I would say it's either a heavy fingering or a light sport. Um, you know, it knits up thicker or um, bigger than my normal. I always use ones, um, and I always do fifty six stitches. So they do. Like these could fit my dad. These might fit my dad, uh -huh. but they they would be stretched. Like these okay. these can stretch, but they don't look stretched. So, okay. so I would say it's definitely a heavy fingering, if not a, you know a light sport. Okay. So those are those two, uh -huh. and then I finished my wild skeins. <gasps> you go, girl. Yeah, these were actually so much fun. Jerry Pattern Whisper picked my yarn from my stash, which I, I I told Jerry that I wasn't gonna check how many skeins I have because she did tell me how to check and I did. But I'm gonna tell you, it's either like 413 or 431 skeins and that's what's remaining in my stash, not what I've stashed and then not used or whatever. It's, it's everything that I haven't used, even leftovers. So 413 or 31 
You hoarder. You're a hoarder. I'm a hoarder for sure. I'm a hoarder and a, I'm just a hoarder. Um, <laughs> so this is the vanilla lattes. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, yes. but it's, you know, the vanilla latte pattern. And then I did that partridge. I have partridge. partridge. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did that. I heel. like the way that I have partridge mixes up the color. Yep. Yeah, it actually did really come out cute. So I have moose. Yay! Two, ten. So I was really happy. So now I do not have a pair of socks on the needles right now. Okay. Which is a little bit stressing me out. Mm -hmm. I think I made like 18 socks, 18 pairs. Wow. But I'm not as good as you where you like made 18 different patterns. I'm not that good. I've made maybe like four different patterns. Like I'm thinking the vanilla latte and buds. I did one pair of jumping jacks. I did the my knitted heart. Can't think of any other ones that I did this year. So I think I only knit four patterns, 18 pairs of socks. Oh, I probably did like a plain vanilla where I just did stockinette. So maybe that was five. Okay. Now yeah. when I did the 52 pair plunge, you can either do 26 or you can do more than you did the last time. However it yeah. works, whatever. Yeah. But I did do like baby socks for the okay. baby. Yeah. And I did like four pairs of that. And the rest of the socks were all different patterns. Yeah. And it got to the point where I was looking at sock patterns that I would not have looked at otherwise. Yeah. Because they were going to me. They were yeah. some of them were I think I gave away right. a couple pair, but they were all going to me. I don't want all the same socks in my sock right. drawer. So anyway. Right. Yeah, but do you I not feel you, I guess I guess for you, do you not feel like for me, I think that having like like, if I had these in my sock drawer, yeah. even if they were the same pattern, right. I would think they were different enough because they're different yarn. All you know, of mine different. were different yarn. Different no, I know, but I'm saying, like, I guess my question is, is that not enough for you No. in your sock drawer? Okay, because that's enough for me. Like, that would be enough for me. So that's interesting. Yeah. Um, and the reason why is because I believe that if I had to do the same thing over and over again, I would get bored and none of my socks would get finished. Yeah. So okay. that's how that would be. Okay. So hopefully, um, I, I can't do it again because it was just way too stressful. Yeah, yeah. And some of the sock See, patterns, me. all of the sock patterns I think were free and some of them were not very well written and anyway. Got it. Okay. So yeah, like for me, for me, I feel like um, I didn't, I wasn't aiming to, ha to do 18 socks by July. Like I was just knitting socks. I enjoy knitting socks now. And so the number is 18. Could it be 20 for the year? Maybe, like I may only knit two more pairs of socks. I'm not stressing about how many pairs I'm knitting. So for me, the fact that I did 18 already is nice because I have 18 pairs of socks that either I've gifted or I'm holding on to. So for me, that that's the fun part. But I think it would be interesting to do like whatever it is, like, 10 pairs of different socks next year uh -huh. or whatever it is, whatever the well, number a, is. the yarn police don't come to your house. Right. The people right. don't ban you from the group for not finishing. Right. And if it gets, if you get desperate and you feel like you want to finish and you have to make 10 pairs of plain vanilla right. socks, you right. can probably tear right through those. Right. And exactly. really, if you don't do it and you still got farther along than you would have gotten, then yep. you're still ahead of the game. And right. if it, those gifts, their gifts or they're for you or for whatever, you know, it's up to you. It's yep. really how much you're willing to drive yourself. Not like when I tried to join, um, uh, what is that? The sock wars. Okay. Painful. Anyhow. So anyway, I, I said, I didn't no have, I, I said I didn't have any FOs, but actually I do. My boss's daughter is leaving for college in August. So I got some um, soap, uh, okay. grapefruit soap, and I decided to make her some spa. Oh, nice. These are the grandma's um, yes. favorite dishcloth, but yeah. they're actually 
going to be in a little Jay. They're actually going to go in a little gift package for her. That's cute. Um, Are they out of sugar and cream? Yes. Because you know I have mountains of that stuff. I know. It was on sale in the store for a buck. How could you say I mean, how no? How could you pass it up, right? Yeah. So that's it for my foes because I'm a massive fail. I it's It was too much trying to spin yeah. And it might just, the, the wild skein sock yarn and get on with the rest of my socks. It was it's overwhelming and I'm tired. Yeah. So yeah. that's always that's a perpetual state. Yeah. But if you want to talk about finished Of course we do. Oh my gosh, that is so your colors. You spun me something like that a couple years ago. I think I won it. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah. It's so even. Oh, you're frozen. Maybe I'm frozen too. Oh no, you're not frozen anymore. That's so, so pretty. This is from Vines, who who was Pumpkin Mama. It was it was eight ounces of um, fiber, but I spun four of them up last year at the tour, and I saved the other four for this year because I couldn't spin up eight ounces then. And my Ooh. other. That's really nice. This is, um, sorry. This is, this one, this one is Shetland in the Grace colorway. And this one is Targi, one hundred percent Targi. Okay, is it soft? It's called uh, Swift Current. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's pretty thin. Mhm. Mm fingering? Um, I think it's light fingering. Okay. And. I don't have the yardage because it just dried. I took it off the hanger where it was. And it's got... Is Targi soft? Um, not particularly. It would make good socks because they're not so soft that they would, um, you know, like Merino pill, pill and be crazy looking. That's really pretty. I think that should be a prize for the podcasters who do the wild skeins, who finished first in the wild skeins. Just put it out there. You're giving my yarn away? What, what podcasters? To me, podcasters. What podcaster do you think should get it? I don't know. I'll have to check the, I'll have to check the yard in. You see my hand? No, it's waving really I'm, furiously. I'm ignoring you because podcasters and hosts, co-hosts don't get prizes. <laughs> I don't know who made up that stupid rule, but they should be fired. Yeah, you can't fire your own self. <laughs> so, and the other one is on the um, on the wheel, which I didn't bring to show because that's the garage again. In case you're wondering, yeah. No, I'm not passing gas. So, although I did before. <laughs> <laughs> She's just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, the skein that I'm spinning, the braid that I'm spinning now, is not gold oh wait it looked like it was gold it did it's called buttered toast so it's oh, so brown it's and yellow yeah okay. so i have some bump that i could use that is more like mm, maybe it's bronzy kind of color but i have boxes of fiber from a club that i never opened so maybe there is something yellow in there because the one I gave you for last year's Super Tie event yeah. was called Tiger's Eye. Yeah. And it was deliberately goldy kind of colored. Hang on one second. I'm being paged. Hold on. Sorry. 
That's great. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. Sexy pajama pants. Pajama pants with my shirt that I wore all day. Because I didn't think I was going to have to get up. Oh my gosh, seriously? That the garage woke up my middle daughter, who's now saying, Daddy. Just like that. Daddy. I mean, really? It's just the garage. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Carry on, everyone. Those are the end of my finished objects, so what are your whips? Oh. oh, I'm just working on one whip. It's the Sloan shawl. Hey, what do you mean you're only working on one whip? Well, I only have one whip. Well, you have more than one whip. What's my Where's second? James? Oh, I haven't worked on that. Okay. Um, I'm working on one whip that I've, I'm working on. So this is the Sloan shawl. That's nice colors. It actually is called Manderly. It's a um, plucky knitter in that, their Primo Aran. And it's, um, I have three skeins of it. So it's about 600 yards. Um, and it's like a grayish, bluish, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it is actually very pretty. Um, I origin, I, the changes that I made was I cast on using the garter tab cast okay. on, the West Knits. Um, I just like the way that it looks. Um, and then I basically knit until she said to stop, which is about 23 inches. Okay. And then I am I decided to modify the um, edging because she only called for, I think, four rows of garter to border it. Mm -hmm. um, but the plucky knitter, Sarah, knit this. And she knit it in cashmere, though. Uh -huh. But it came out beautiful. She modified it so that the the bottom edging was about 20-ish garter rows, so it was, it was a substantial edging. So this is the bottom side. So I have about 11 um, ridges. Okay. Hers is about 20. And this is how much yarn I have left. So clearly I'm not going to have enough. But um, as I was knitting it up, I actually ripped this back twice. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I have ripped it back once, um, and basically what I decided to do is down the center, I don't know if you can see, but down the center there's like a spine. Yes. Okay, so originally when I started knitting the garter, knowing that I wanted to extend it, I did exactly as she said, which was to just garter it. Um, I decided to modify it so that the the spine goes through the garter. So I'm, I'm actually keeping the, the spine going through the garter on the border. Um, so now I'm going to rip it back. So I had to rip that back because I didn't like the way it looked. So okay. I ended up having to rip it back like 10 rows, uh -huh. which is fine. I usually hate doing that, but but I feel like I've invested so much in this that I really want to love it. And I want to, when I wear it, be like, I like the way it looks. So I ripped it back. And now I ripped, I did all this. And I'm like, yeah, this is not, it's actually not going to look good because the body is so big and the border is not tiny but small like it's I would say it's large and medium instead of medium and large or medium and medium so I'm gonna rip it back um, I'm probably gonna rip it back in the body about maybe an inch or two probably two and then um, start the garter there and then just garter it until it runs out and I think that that'll um, make it look nice um, you wouldn't consider putting a border of a different color on no, I don't know. I, I kind of like the way that Sarah's looked. Her, I actually wasn't sure I was going to even love this color, but it, it's really nice. It's like wax and dark blues. It's almost like blue jeans. Uh -huh. It's kind of an oddball color, um, but I like it. So I think I just want to do it all in one. Okay. So I'll be ripping this back. I just haven't. Like, I've had this kind of in standby for a few days. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'll just, I wanted to show you guys and then rip it back. So I'll probably do that this week. And then I'm working on a secret knit. I'm almost finished with it. I is, can't it is it a secret knit because it's a test knit or is it a secret knit because it's a gift? It's not for you. Or Jerry. Or Simona. Or Sue. <laughs> Did I roll my eyes out loud? No, it's, um, it's not a test knit. It's a sample knit. Okay, so... So it is in secret. Okay. But I am. Okay. So I'm And that's it. That's all I'm working on. And okay. my James is still right here. All right. 
At least it's close at hand. It is. It's okay. just too hot. Like I keep saying, it's too hot to knit that, and here I am knitting Aaron. Right. Dopey. So my Anyways, wild, you, huh? my wild skein sock, and I had a terrible, terrible fight. I was gonna have it arrested. Who won? I was gonna have it arrested for assault. <laughs> oh, so it almost won. But who won in the end? I think you did. I'll put my money on you. <gasps> Wait, that's the second sock? No. <gasps> what? Okay. So here's the thing. First, I got to the heel turn and everything was fine. And I went to put the sock on and it didn't fit. Why? Yeah, why does this look huge? Why does it not fit? It fit all the way up to the heel. What was the big deal about the heel that made the sock not fit? Yeah. I don't know. It's a You're big still going mystery. Up. Oh, geez. So I went so up a needle size and I ripped the sock out and now I can work in double time. I was going to start from the top down yeah. because. You memorized the pattern. Of to this. the people who said they wish they had this pattern. The reason why you might not be so, the reason why she may have pulled it back is because she includes like four different style of heel. Whoa. And with one heel, you decrease and then you have to increase a certain amount of stitches. And then with another heel, you have to have six stitches on the side. And then with another heel, it's this, it's that. You have to pick your heel and then follow it to the T, because even the plain gusset one has yeah, I was gonna things say. about it. Yeah, and um, so I thought, you know, it would probably be easier if I just made it from the top down. But I don't know how many stitches to start with. Yeah. Because I don't know how many stitches to start with. Yeah. So anyhow, so I decided I'll go back and I'll I'll try this again. And I'll make sure I make some careful notes and include them in my notes if, in case she ever releases the pattern. But <clears throat> I think the reason why it was pulled is because she might have been getting a lot of questions. Okay. You know, and some people are not on Ravelry all the time. And so those questions just pile up. And you know what? Forget it. I'll just pull the pattern. Yeah. Call it a day. And yeah. I believe that's what she did. And I would not have... Um, sent her a message asking her about uh, ways to fix it or how, how exact I wouldn't ask her any questions I would fudge my way through like I do everything else and it would have been that would have been that yeah and since she watches I mean she can certainly you know respond in our forum post I know she's a member and she subscribes to our blog and our YouTube channel <laughs> yeah we wish <laughs> We wish. And she's in the process of designing a pattern just for just us. For us. Our, isn't it? It's yeah, going to be called the know. Sharon Tracy sock. <laughs> yeah, right. She doesn't know us from a can of paint. Anyhow, this is my second sock, which I said, well, this could be my crazy skein, right? Let me see. No. What do you mean, no? It's crazy. This, is how, this was my original crazy skein. Not crazy. You don't have enough colors or irregular shapes and sizes. This is I mean, crazy. I'm just saying you're not gonna win any awards. Mine, on the other hand, crazy. You're tough. <laughs> you're just way too tough. Well, now Sharon, gonna... I loved those socks. I loved them. The flower power socks will be made. Oh my gosh. Will they be made on time by the deadline? Well, I don't but know. No. I mean, like, look, because we're the podcast, because we're the hosts and we're not eligible for prizes, you don't need to be done on time. I got prizes galore in my yeah, fiber exactly. cabinet. You could just go I into can... your fiber cabinet and be like, woo, prize for me. Anything I want. That's funny. What okay. else do you work on? I'm, I'm still working on pattern play. Mm -hmm. um, I did work a couple of rows, but I didn't um, bring it down because because I suck that way. 
<laughs> but kind of like me last week. You're gonna take the suck award this this week. Oh, those are nice. They're so pretty. So this is See, that could be your crazy skein. This is two skeins. I know. And neither one of them. Well, if this could be my crazy skein, then I'm yeah, gonna that could be your crazy skein. I'm gonna finish these tonight. <laughs> You're not. You're gonna stay up all night. No, I still have to spin. I know. Oh my gosh, I love these stuff. It's called um, Aztec Aztec pottery. Yep. yep. From the knit outside the yep. socks. Book. Book. Yep. Yes. Love this pattern. It is so crazy easy. It's just. You said you needed some like help with Fair Isle. I think the socks that um, Clementine O, Lisa, is making are even easier than these. Oh my gosh, really not a challenge at all. <laughs> not a challenge. I think that if you want to make some Fair Isle socks, yeah, I think that those that's the pattern for you. But this one is equally easy. The only thing is that um, there's more straight rows in the... Fair Isle made easy socks yeah. that would make you not want to tear your hair out. Yeah, I think with the with the Fair Isle, I'm probably going to start with knits because I feel like then I won't have to worry about heels and heels and and decreasing on the toes and I I don't know. I mean, that's my thought is that I'm going to start with mitts. I tried. I told you with the hat. I meant to actually pull it out. I'll have to remember when I'm listening to this again to pull it out. Awful. Awful. So I don't think I'm going to start with a hat. I think I'm going to start with mitts. All right. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. So but maybe not until next year, 2000. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just talk about that for one little second. Yes. We're going to have to put five things on our resolution list yes they're gonna have for to be finished 16 for 2016 okay five things go on your resolution list okay if you don't come through with all five of them i my get fire? a skein from your stash of your choice of my choice no <laughs> i'm gonna make okay. all my stash private <laughs> I, I want, I, I'll, I'll pick a skein, we'll agree. I have a skein of plucky knitter cashmere yarn. I wouldn't take your cashmere. Why? Because that's really painful. I it think is. That really hurts. Because I have one skein. Okay, so if I don't meet all five of my challenges, which you know I'm going to do in January. I know. <laughs> just so I don't have to give anything up. You're going to think about it now. Do it in advance. Come on the first podcast and be like, look what I did, everybody. No, well, no, I'm going to lie about other things. Not, <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. So, You're above that. So, yeah. So, since my stash is not on my... Yeah, unfair. Because like, it's never going to happen. Um, you get to pick what it is that you want. Do you want me to spin some yarn for you? No, I want your wheel. How about that? I get your wheel. You can't spin. Sure, I'll give it to you. You want to drop spindles? You can borrow my wheel and take pictures with it. Just send Bar it Who said anything about borrow? You, I'll just have to go to your house to spin on the wheel. That's all. And You'll we'll be like, can you go home? <laughs> no. Too funny. So you can, you can, I, I can either spin some yarn for you if I don't meet my obligation, or I can give you a skein of whatever i show you can we hold the viewers responsible too let them do five what are we going to get off of them <laughs> they don't get anything from us what am i going to get if you don't meet shamed <laughs> shamed on the podcast <laughs> if you don't do it i don't we'll think that's, call you out. i don't think that's a good deal because i got a lot of stuff i didn't do either so <laughs> well if they want us to do it i let's, think that let's they put could it do it would you it. like us to do this? And if so, would you participate? Maybe they could get their own partner. Yeah. <gasps> and you could put something up for dibs. Yeah. Like say, okay, for the viewers, you yes. don't have to have five things. We can keep it to three for you. No, Crazy, I want... <laughs> on the other hand, Why? five. What's five? I can't. 
can't even think. Of, I've done everything already. There's only one thing I haven't done, which is color work. That's it. No, I'm not talking about techniques. I'm talking about you're going to say, this is my resolution for the year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Name five things. It doesn't have to I'm be. I'm going to knit. I'll tell you right now. I'm going to knit five pairs of Ann Buds. <laughs> oh, no. Dun. No. Kapow. No. Ba bam. <laughs> no gifts. For, just give me my prize game. Right now. If you're okay, gonna I'll, do five, three, you're I'll do three Ann Buds and two vanilla lattes. I'll give you two vanilla lattes and three Ann's. Oh my God, it's too hot for me to be laughing at you. <laughs> Five different things. They okay. Be all and and blood. <laughs> my knitted heart, vanilla latte. <laughs> they don't have to be five socks. You can finish something. You can start and then finish something. <laughs> you could learn to spin on a drop spindle. Okay, whatever. I, I okay. want five things out of you. And I want my skein of yarn so I don't really want five things you can do four <laughs> ah, yeah. oh my gosh okay so that's that's the deal so the tour de fleece stuff is going bananas everybody that's participating thank you so much that room is jumping it's I think the knitting one in. is too the knitting, the knitting is too one, there's only like they a got few like a hundred posts in that room yeah. it's like a big old party yeah, I think it is. Both of them combined as crazy pants. Yes, I'm so excited. And the thing that is, to, to me, the most awesome is that I would have never known the spinners who are there were yeah. spinners if they didn't yep. post in the room. So thank you, because I love seeing all of your beautiful yarn. And yep. yes, there's been a couple of times I so coveted it, I actually accidentally commented in the room, and I had to delete my post. I know, I saw so, Good thing you're a moderator. Yes, thank goodness. And I have to learn from you how to whoosh somebody's post into another thread. I think you just cut it and paste it. Yeah. Anyway, so the um, the knitting crazy socks, Jerry, faster than lightning. Okay. And then this, I know she was fast. She was finished. You look. You know what this is? It's a big. All I have to say is look. Big red circle. Yeah, all I have to say is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that too. Those socks are so pretty. So anyhow, um, so I'm really, thank you to all the participants. I'm really excited. I don't know. I might have to find another prize because it might be too hard to let it all go. Just at that. But anyhow, thanks for participating. And just know, tomorrow night, even though this is going to go up late and I will put something in the room. Yeah, it shouldn't go up. I'm hoping Today's, to get it up. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm hoping to get it up before then. And I can do the show notes. Okay, we'll do the show notes. But on Wednesday, if you are participating in the Tour de Fleece, whether knitting or spinning, please join us for the VKN. We're going to show off our goods and we're going to just talk about how we're going to finish, how long, you know, think it's going to be before you're done. Are you going to make it on time? Because even, you, even though you can only post your finished objects in the finished object thread, I'm so enjoying the chatter thread. It was like the yeah, smartest thing to do because now you don't have to worry about drawing prizes and picking my name. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Winner! <laughs> I'm gonna win it, chicken dinner. I'm the winner. Um, yeah. So, so yes, anything else? Yes. L uh, a life full of laughter. A life full yeah. of laugh. Or um, had the Facebook page, yeah. which she for said, the mini skein for the mini skein swap, which she said did not work out. It's not working out on Facebook, so she's moving it to Ravelry. Which I think is excellent because somebody like me who's not on Facebook, like I can yeah. never participate in that. Not, not, I mean, again, I could create a, I have a Facebook account, but I'm never on it. It's a time suck. I don't need yeah. something else that's sucking my time. Yeah. So she, she says that if you are on the Facebook page and you want them to invite you to join them when they become a Ravelry group, 
leave your Ravelry name on the Facebook page okay. and it will bounce over. Great. And then as you guys know, we created a blog. Um, we've been posting and, um, you know, it's more about life, a little bit of knitting spilled in, um, you know, so check us out over there. We're at momswithyarn.wordpress.com. Um, so check us out there. And um, as we mentioned, we also have um, a new YouTube channel um, that I'm able to upload to as well, which is, um, you know, what we what I did last week. I'll definitely do it this week. Sharon is still posting to her, um, to the um, Sharon V channel, and that will continue on um, at this point indefinitely. Um, we're not sure. Just until we can get at least some of the videos from the old yep. channel uploaded onto the new channel and then my channel will probably be still dun, moms dun, with yarn dun. slash spinning yeah we'll be the queen of spinning maybe i'll have some spinning buddies nice um so yeah so the moms with yarn has its own channel and we're posting there but certainly if you want to look at back episodes you can go to sharon's channel like I said, Sharon's going to continue to upload there, um, just in case people are viewing us only on there. But we'd like you to to start shifting your way over to Moms with Yarn. This way, um, you know you can watch us uninterrupted. Yeah. So these announcements will go on at the end of the episodes, just so you'll know that eventually yeah. the Sharon V channel, Moms with Yarn, is going to end going to retire just like Sharon is going to hopefully sooner around July 17th 2000 I'm sorry July 20th 2017 don't worry guys I'm working on it <laughs> and then I'm gonna, really, I'm gonna do all the crafts and I'm never gonna cook again I'm gonna have the, the kitchen blown right off the side of the house never wash That'll another be dish room. Yes. with a hot tub oh man yeah. So thanks everybody so for joining it. us and yep. um, we hope to see you again in two weeks when we come back. Yep. The Tour de Fleece is going to end on the 26th, I believe. So that's Saturday, Friday? Today is the 22nd, 21st. It's, it was July 4th through 26th. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It ends on Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, I'm going on vacation that day. Okay. I'm not telling you where. You never tell me where. And then I have to try to suss out Fuji. from your... <laughs> I'm going to Fuji. I don't think so. I'm going so. to Fuji for... Fa I don't believe me either. Don't believe me. Because yeah. I wouldn't no. go without my kids. I have kids. to try to figure it out through Instagram. And then I have to try to figure out how I can get there and crash the party. <laughs> well, we're driving by to pick you up. Okay. We have room with the minivan. Oh, yes. Right on top. We have that hamburger thing. You could just fit right in. Yeah, I think that would be really good. Yeah. I do too. I need to get away from here. Yeah. <laughs> planning my trip to Rhinebeck, but that's about it. Ooh, maybe we can go together. You staying up there for the weekend? If you do. Get out of here, girl. Let me go make some buttons right <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm going to make some buttons and some pens. What else can I make? Okay. T-shirts? T-shirts? No T-shirts. Because you have to pick sizes. And I have know. Them there. No, I mean t-shirts for us. Oh, we should get some t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, and by the way, I ordered something that I'm waiting for that is a gift for both of us. Nice. Yeah. Is it extra money? Are you printing money? No. Is that why it's taking so long? <laughs> no. No. No huh. money. So we, don't get, we don't get money. Really quickly, we had ice cream for dinner, which was what my blog post. So all day we kept telling the kids, we have a special surprise at dinner, you know, dinner time. If you eat a good lunch and you're good all day, there's a special surprise for dinner. They went through and they're like, are we going to Disney World? Are we having a sleepover at uncle's house? Um, what else for some of the crazy, are we getting a dog? <laughs> I mean, like outlandish things. And then it was like, when we finally told them it was ice cream for dinner, they're like, really? Ice cream oh. for dinner? And I'm like, no, yeah. They're like, well, what are we going to have for dinner? I'm like, ice cream. They like couldn't understand, but they were so psyched up for like this awesome prize at the end of the rainbow. And it just was ice cream for dinner. Mm. Well, and I digress. I, I'm, I'm glad that they got their ice cream. They did. 
Because, you know, if you keep it small, you can only go up from there. Sure. Yes. So uh, today I had to let the ladies know in the knitting group that the library uh, changed the date and they they they're now won't be open until sometime in the fall. I said, but here's a little something <laughs> to keep you cheerful until the library eventually does open. Don't call these gray hairs. <laughs> call them power stripes. <laughs> Wisdom stripes, power stripes, power surges. Yeah. I gotta cover these babies up. Yes. I have power stripes. You should stripes. just wear a wig. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wear a wig. This way I don't have to color my hair. I could just shave it all off. I could just wear a wig. And then nobody I won't have to dye it. I won't have to get it cut. It will always be cut. It will always be the right color. Yeah. Do you ever watch Miss Fisher's Mysteries on yeah. TV? No. I always thought, oh my God, her hair is so perfect every time. And then I saw real pictures of her and it's a wig. And I was like, I want that wig. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, just invest. You could, you'd be paying for haircuts up front. Let's just assume it's like $400. Well, it's like, yeah. Even if it like, was $400, like, right. um, I would have to live forever for the amount of haircuts I get. Oh, yeah. And See, I, I color my hair. So. Yeah, I color my hair. I need color. See it? Uh, no. Do I, I you mean, do I see your grays? Yeah, do you see my grays? Mm, I see a couple, yeah. I have a lot of grays. You do? Yeah. I do too, but... Do you see my teeth? They're <laughs> lovely. They're even more beautiful than before. <laughs> I didn't get my teeth fixed too. No, I'm not. Okay. We, we're we're all, right. all over the place. Sorry. Okay. We gotta go, ladies and gents. Yep. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a great few weeks yes we will see you in a couple of weeks for sure yes. and um remember momswithyarn.wordpress.com and moms with yarn on youtube subscribe to that channel and you can yep. stop subscribing to the other channel yep so we're just in transition yeah moving them over and when it's done it'll be done yeah so have a good weekend everybody yeah good week everything good happy crafting